Greetings fellow editors. Excalibur version 113 adds control of track targeting, muting, locking and sync locking. Each command can affect at the same time only video or audio tracks and has the same set of options. I will use target video tracks as an example. Target or toggle tracks by specified number. Target or toggle tracks with selected clips. Target, toggle or untarget all tracks. Assign a shortcut to the last one and now you can be sure that when you press it all tracks will be deselected. As always, you can create user commands that will control tracks any way you need. If you love pancakes and rely on string outs, you should try add marker to clip command. It will add marker with specified name and color from in to out point of a selected clip. Now you can identify clips without playing them. Or you can use clip markers as nodes. New selection module features five commands. Select clip above below. It will select clip on a track above below selected clip at playhead position. Select all clips after or before playhead with different options. Extend selection allows to select clips like in a file browser when you hold shift. Inverse selection. And finally, select all disabled clips. Before selecting disabled clips, it will save project and export XML file. So give it some time. With new preference module, you will have control over such settings as display color management, selection follows playhead, show rulers, show guides, snap in program monitor. Each command has three options, toggle current state, toggle on or toggle off. It's worth to mention that you don't need specific panel to be active. For example, to show rulers or guides in program monitor, you need to activate it first. With Excalibur, there is no need for that. Other small updates include addition of multiply, divide or percent operations to position scale rotation and other similar commands. Also, Excalibur settings now could be opened from a search bar. That is all. Thank you.